Action. What did she call me? A Nazi priestess? A frigid Nazi priestess. Infernal. Infernal. That was frigid. Stop it. God, you guys, what did you tell me about this last night? You were asleep. Did you want to wake you up and tell you I met some girl at a party who said you were a frigid Nazi priestess? It wasn't frigid. Why are you defending her? Frigid. I'm not. I'm just driving for a strong accuracy or something. The frigid. Infertile. Frigid. Infertile. Stop Rig it. Stop it. What a bitch. I mean, I was incredibly nice to this stupid person. I mean, she was patently stupid. And I was so nice. And now I found out she's what? Offended? She's morally offended by my phone, phone lists and my highlighters? Everyone in New York has a phone list. How are you supposed to remember who you had to call back? And excuse me, but having blue and green highlighters makes me a Nazi. And the fact that I don't call, that I don't kill Jews is irrelevant, irrelevant? Irre irrelevant, thanks. She sounds like a genius. She's, she can hardly speak, as I recall. She looks great in black, and she can't speak the English language. She just, just fine here in New York. I shouldn't have told you. Why shouldn't you tell me? Why didn't you tell me when you got home you met somebody who called me a frigid? Infertile, infertile. Why were you even talking to this stupid person? She was interesting in a vapid way. She was a moron who looks good in life. She was a moron, she's Oh, for heaven's sake. I've had such a shitty day with my highlighters, me and my highlighters trying to take over the world to buy Chinese babies for some sinister fertility ritual. Like, it's better to live than in orphanages. Children all over the world who miss homes, if you decide to take on it. It must be because you're some frigid, crazy, workaholic bitch who wasn't woman enough to, you know, have her own. Stop, Stella. Just stop, okay? S sorry. Sorry, Luis. It's okay. Are there chips? Maybe some chips would cheer me up. Did you go to the grocery store? No. Oh, Charlie, come on. I had to work all day in trying to take over the world with highlighters. Couldn't you at least to go to the grocery store? I'll go to the corner and get some chips. Would you? Absolutely. Thank you, Louise. You were so nice to me. Take the chips. I had a horrible day. I know. The idiot not showing. Not your idiot. I'm moving to my idiot. Who didn't show? All the shit I had to go through together to do this. Six dozen white ladies in their dressing room. Do you know what? That many ladies meth like, it's enough to truly knock you out like a disease. That many flowers. And I'm not even talking about all the stupid candy we have to buy, M&M's, Reese's Cup, Twix. Why do these people think it's so cool to eat bad chocolate? Could someone, and, and I mean, I literally had to turn her fucking dress room into a kind of physical representation of complete psychotic break. Ladies and a bad chocolate and exercise machine. She was only supposed to be there for uh, one hour and a half, and she needed for uh, she needed her own stain master with the chocolate. What's the plan to eat the mouth of chocolate while you're on stain master? Turn out there was no plan because she didn't show. You told me a couple times. I told you eight times. I'm turning into one of those people who say things over and over, and they have to tell them so kindly. Yes, you told me. Like they have gone to denial. This happened to my mother after she turned 50. She told the same story over and over and over again. Stella. It was so dreary, so like, oh my god, God's so insane. She's not just a pathetic nut. Now she's a boring, pathetic nut telling the same story over and over Stella. and over again. have a drink. I got smashed already. The idiot didn't show. She did not show. You told me this morning she wasn't going to show. I mean, there's no real surprise here, is there? This is the fourth time. Yes, it is the fourth time. It is the fourth time she fucked us and they insist that I booked her anyway. And then it's my fucking fault we have a hole in the schedule. And there's not even a hole because I back it up, I back us time every time up with an idiot who makes the low carb pasta dishes. Why do people believe that? Low carb pasta? Why do they- Stella. But it's so demeaning to put her to put that on the vision is just fucking demeaning. These people are such liars. 
go her pasta, and it's pathetic. These women sitting out there, so hungry for this specific life. You can eat pasta and still lose weight. That's like pathetic. It's not pathetic, it's sad. If you think about it too long, it's so sad all these women sitting out all these hours. They yearning for life to be just a little bit easier. It's probably one of the few things they have to look forward to. A nice plate of pasta with a little red sauce. Only most of them, they won't go for the sensible red sauce. They go for the Alfredo or the carbonara. I actually had to do a low fat carbonara show once. I know. Oh God. I want to have compassion for these people. I feel bad. Stella. Uh, they think they, they think it's a cool thing to do this with their time. Go and be in the studio audience for a stupid talk Honey. show. Because they think it means something to be on television. On you weren't really. You just sat there while someone else got on the video television. It's so sad. It's so sad. No more tequila for you. I'm fine. Yeah, well, I'm suicidal. But I don't really for. I don't really feel sorry for them. You shouldn't. Oh my God. Of course I should. There, uh, these people deserve compassion. These fat people who feel terrible about themselves because we are the ones. We are constantly putting on television show. Things like low fat carbonara, low fat for gras. I mean, uh, where is it? Uh, this is some kind of good idea to trip the pleasure, trip the pleasure and essence out of everything. That's how horrible it is to be fat. I mean, these people didn't ask to be fat, and they are just surrounded by culture. Everything, everything tells them that worthless. They are worthless because they're fat. If that's not worthy of compassion, what is? Stupid people are destroying this planet. I don't have to have compassion for that. Low fat for a crowd. You know that's coming. That's just out there somewhere. Someone go, just going to try good stuff, uh, some stuff, poor duck, full of low fat corn and tofu. You just know it. Ah, uh, Stella, you need to take a day off. Oh, you think? <laughs> Stop it, Johnny. <laughs> <laughs> you going to come back any minute. Go. Good heavens. What did you say? Good heavens? I said, let, it, let go of my shirt. Oh, uh, I'm sure Lewis would love to see you without your shirt on. <laughs> oh my god, no more tequila for you. <sighs> you should have come to that party with us last night. I mean, it was horrible and boring and a complete waste of time. There was no one to talk to other than a bunch of fatless drunks and this idiot girl. Plus, everyone was about 15 years younger than me. I felt like a freak. <laughs> yes, it should have come. It sounds terrific. I know. It's ridiculous, but rich people's apartments are so strangely comforting. I mean, this place was opulent. I mean, heated tiles in the bathroom, a fucking Picasso on the wall. Not a good one, but it was a real Picasso. <laughs> Why is it that real art makes real people feel phony? Hmm. Real clothes, too. This guy had a dress. Edward's taken to wearing silk. Edward? Right? I mean, you look good on him. You look good. You look rich. The whole place was so... You are so high up. I mean, really, in the stars. I love that about New York. When you get to go to one of those parties way up above the rest of the city, something so surreal about it. Not, not surreal. Oh, God, no. I did not mean surreal. It, it actually does. No, 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 no. Let's be precise. What's surreal, if anything, is, is, is one's internal state in a situation like that. I mean, everybody runs around think, 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 like surreal is like a definition or something. An image can be surreal. Water or, or air? How can that be surreal? Water and air. That's a definition of real. Surreal is more the connection or not. What are you talking about? I have no idea. So, did you talk to me? I haven't been to one of those parties since I did that sitcom. Remember when we were stuck out in L.A. and we had to keep going to all those parties in the hills? Those parties was ideas. You hated those parties. The food was great at those parties, and the flowers also great, and the pools. All these people constantly sucking up. Yeah, but they were sucking up to me. Oh my god, you hated every second of that. I did not hate everything. So, tell me what Nick said. You know what we should do, Stel? We should take a trip. We, we should blow out the bank account and go somewhere great. Paris or St. Petersburg, Florence. 
Are you stay at the Four Seasons, eat incredible food, wallow in bed, buy you expensive earrings, drink wine on some gorgeous town square somewhere? What's the matter, Shirley? Nothing's the matter. People take vacations, Stell. Come on. I mean, it would just, it would be so great to get out of this place for just a week. It would be fun. Couldn't you use a little fun? I mean, not listening to those lunatics for a whole week? I mean, una settimana in Firenze, a week in F Florence, uh, I mean, Uffizi, one on the piazza. Stop. I'm not going to stop. We can go for two weeks. Passiamo uh, and Andre... Sure, we can just... But, sure we can. We can go for two weeks. Passiamo and Andre per two settimane, leather gloves, gorgeous earrings, jewelry This is not, this is just not. Yes, it is, it is. Say yes, say yes, say see, say see, Charlie. <laughs> Back now? Maravilla, go away. Charlie. Go away, go away. It's fine, I'm done melting down. I need some food, I have to eat something. I don't know why. They had all these different flavored options. Fake guacamole and fake ranch and fake chili sauce. Fake onions. Oh god, this is so nice and horrifying at the same time. You're so nice. Just buy all this cheese. I'm starving. You should order something real. So, did Nick even show up at the stupid party? Yeah, he did. Nick was there? So, what did he say? How did he go? I didn't talk to him. What? I didn't get a chance. Why didn't you talk to him? I didn't stay long. But that's why you went. I wasn't in the right mood. Oh. What kind of mood do you have to be in? Oh, for God's sakes. Oh, for God's sake. What? I didn't talk. Charlie. I didn't talk to him. I didn't feel like talking to him, so I didn't talk to him. Well, that's just brilliant. Maybe I should get some like real food. Yeah, maybe. No, you don't have to. Don't go. You, you don't have yes, to. Yes, go, Luis. We're not getting into this. Are we not? It wasn't the right moment, Stella. It really wasn't. Nick was like surrounded by all these people, and to even get in. Do not excuse me to my own wife. Well, this is really we're not. We're not getting into this. You can tell me about the person who called me a Nazi, uh, a frigid Nazi priestess, but you can't even. There's tell nothing to tell. He showed up. I was in a bad mood, so I didn't talk to him. Well, then you have to call. I'm him and talk. not calling Nick. He's got a pilot, Charlie. I know all about that, Stella. You've told me about. Oh, don't do that. All right. Listen, you guys. Maybe he loves you. You have to remind him. Nick does not. You were. You went to high school with him. You were best friends forever. Oh my God! We were never ever. Yes, you were, and you were a terrific actor. He knows how good you are. He knew you when you were just like. When I was working? Yes. When you were working. A lot. You were a wonderful actor, Chuck. Come on. You have to fight for yourself. Talking to Nick at a party is not going to get him to give me a part in his pilot. Well, if you didn't talk to him, he's certainly not going to give you a part. I can guarantee you that. Oh, yeah. He really is desperate to, to have people he knew in a previous life suck up to him at parties. People like that, Charlie. These people, these TV people like it when you suck up. Oh, that's they why... They like it. Oh, that's why I should do it. You should do it because you need a fucking job. Oh, because sucking up to people and, and tell... And, 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 to assholes so you can uh, work in television is clearly something that's worked out so well for you. It certainly worked out well for you since I pay all the bills around here. Hey, you guys want some chips? Ah, these four chips Shut up. up. Lewis. Could you please stop talking this out? There's not a problem here. I'm well aware. Nick. Nick does not have a pilot. People, they, they, they just run around this fucking city saying things like, he has a pilot, he has a gold picture, it's got a green light, when it's all just crap. They're, they, I mean, they, they, it's lying, take it to its natural conclusion. It's, 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 the. It's, they, they're lying themselves to make themselves feel better. They don't even know that they're lying. And then everybody else around them starts telling the same lie, and it's never true. That's the fucking punchline. Everybody's running around like psychotic sheep bleeding. He has a pilot. He has a pilot. He does. Oh, God. 
You need a job. I know I need a job. Why would you? Oh, I don't know, Stella. You just have to talk to him at a party. I'm not talking to Nick. I'm not talking to that asshole. Do you understand me? I'm not talking to Nick. 